guys, it is Tuesday, May 12th. Um, I am dressed and ready to go for the day. I feel normal for a second here. Because uh, one of the thrift stores that I love, um, it's actually quite a drive, it's almost an hour away, 53 minutes to be exact, but uh, they're doing an outdoor thrift store where you can pay as much as you can. So it's just something to like help the community. Um, I've talked about the other store I go to that's donation based and it's very similar to that. So I think that's how they're allowed to, um, to do this because it's for the community. But we're heading there now and hopefully it's worth the trip. I feel really bad about creating Shiloh. I really thought about bringing her, but I just, I don't know. I also have to stop the bank and she'll be fine for a few hours. I mean, she needs to get used to it. She's a puppy, so she's alone when I go grocery shopping, but I'll try to vlog some of it. We'll see how this goes. But this is super cool because right here you have an abandoned house, but right here you have an abandoned hotel called the Lexington Hotel and Restaurant and you can see the sign right there and you can see the sign for the Lexington Hotel right there. Obviously I can't go inside or up to it because it's private property but isn't that so cool? So much history here and potential. Okay, bear with me with the terrible lighting and angle but the first item we got and you're gonna hear Shiloh too is this Zara hoodie. I'm not sure if it's men's or women's. It's a medium. Looks like it could be women's. It has this cool detailing and also a leather or pleather detailing right here and around the hood. So I thought that was cool. Oh my god, I miss doing thrift hauls. Okay, I got this bag and I'm not even sure if it's a brand. I don't see a brand on here. Um, but it is one of those envelope purses and it's also a crossbody. So it's really nice and it feels like real leather. I don't see a brand on it, but it is really nice. I got this Banana Republic long trench coat. Super nice, it has a belt. Um, has the belt with this detail on the end and it's in really good shape and it's an extra large it's got all the buttons and shiloh is trying to get the belt um this purse is very cool it doesn't have a brand but i definitely think it can sell oh it's actually the brand big buddha which i know is sold at like tj maxx um, super cute though. Really good style for spring and summer. Um, I haven't looked any of these, this brand up, so I will insert it on the screen later, but this is the tag A-N-U-E, um, and it is polyester spandex, just a workout blue zip up. Uh, really nice. Workout stuff is selling well right now, so. <clears throat> they had some really cool um, homes, home items, and I wanted to grab more, but it was donation-based only, so I just felt bad grabbing too much, and I only had $20 for all of this stuff, so I didn't want to be greedy, but I got this really awesome set of fish, um, like ceramic fish set, super cool. It says made in China on the back, so I don't think it's like worth a lot, but I do think someone will buy that as a set. And then I got these two wicker baskets, which I love. If you've watched my channel before, my thrift hauls, I love wicker baskets. Normally I sell them in a set of like three or more, but I didn't want to grab more than that because again, I didn't have a lot of money and I didn't want to be greedy. Uh, the last thing I grabbed is this really pretty framed um really different unique i don't even know what you call this type of art but it looks like someone crocheted it um and this is so pretty i was thinking about keeping it for my house i'm not sure yet it's got the thing on the back i might resell it but that is all we got so everything will be listed in my poshmark ebay mercari if anyone's interested hey everyone it is monday morning on 
uh, May 25th, right after Memorial Day weekend. I have some stuff to ship out. I'm doing that now. I waited in a huge long line this morning for Duncan because I really needed it to get motivated to ship. I hate shipping. If you're, if you are not new here and you watch my channel, you might know that because I mention it like all the time. Yeah, shipping is just, it's a process. So we're doing that. And uh, right now I'm just printing the labels, getting everything going. And I decided to pick up the camera to just start vlogging again. I don't even know if this is gonna go up, but um, I hope you guys all had a nice Memorial Day weekend. Ours was very busy. Frankie's mom, uh, her 60th birthday is today. And so we celebrated this weekend. His sister ended up coming up with the kids. Um, so we weren't really expecting that. They told us they were coming up, I think, a day or two before, so that was nice. And yeah, it was just very, very busy. I was really exhausted. I went to bed early. I went to bed at like 10, 10.30 at the latest. And sales were pretty good. Um, I didn't reach my goal, uh, profit goal for the week, but I did. I did okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I made sales. I think I have like 10 to 15 things to ship out today from the weekend. I also wasn't working as much as I normally would on the weekend because we had family up. So I tried to squeeze in a little work um, here and there, but it can be hard when you have like family obligations and stuff and you wanna hang out and just have fun, but then you also don't have a job that pays you time off. So it's just like the balance can be tough, but luckily um, they were staying at his parents' house and they're literally right down the driveway is where they live. So I would just go home and work quick and then come back. I also dog sat this weekend and I'm dog sitting today is the last day um, of that. So I made some money with that as well. So between dog sitting and reselling, I always make my profit goal every week, which is at least $500. Um, but I obviously would love to make more. Um, my goal is to make 500 a week with reselling plus dog sitting. And many weeks I have been hitting that. April was really good. I think I hit 500 every single week. I made a little over 2000 take home after like refunds, after everything was subtracted. So that's really my goal right now. And then once I'm doing 2000 steadily, I want to increase to 2,500 and so on, so on. Like you should never be stopping. Your goal should always be never to settle and just get better. Um, I have a bag of stuff from my sister uh, from ThreadUp that she sent me to sell. It's basically her ThreadUp rejects, the stuff that uh, that didn't sell on ThreadUp that she sent back, that they sent back to her. She just put my address as the return address and we're gonna split uh, everything on commission. So my sister resells part-time just to supplement like her um, her other things that she does. And I do it full time. So she's sending me all of the bags of her stuff. And I opened it yesterday and I think I'm gonna do a haul for you guys because there's some really good stuff in there. So that's what's going on. I'm rambling, but I will catch up with you guys. Cleaning's done. I'm outside with the puppies, having a burger. There's my big bag of stuff for the mailman. Uh, I think we sent out like 16 orders today or somewhere around 15 or 16 from the weekend. So we're just gonna eat lunch now and I photographed 10 items, which I'll feature in a haul. Um, and I'm gonna start listing a few of them and then the rest are for tomorrow so I won't have to photograph tomorrow. Today is Thursday, May 28th. Um, today I drove 48 minutes to go to a thrift store that was having free clothing. And you'll see some clips. I couldn't get a lot of footage there because I was holding all my stuff and it was just, it would have been weird. So uh, today we did that. I got a lot of stuff. Um, I'll do a little thrift haul when I get home. And 
Now I'm gonna make the drive back and I have to stop at the dollar store to get milk and dog food. Sunday, May 31st. Um, I am heading out to a yard sale and an estate sale. I cannot wait. Um, first ones of the season for me. I haven't been seeing a lot, you know, because of COVID and quarantine and all that. Um, they've just been really few and far between. I should have been out there yesterday. I didn't realize it was Saturday and Sunday. Um, and it starts at 10 and it's already 10 20, and I have to run to the bank and um, go to Dunkin because I only had one coffee this morning. We ran out of coffee So I really hope I find good stuff and I'll try to get some footage as I'm out there But if not, I'll do the haul at the end. So come along with me from the yard sale and estate sale. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. You're gonna hear my dogs in the background as usual. But the first, um, the yard sale I went to was okay. It was the second day, so I think they sold a lot of stuff, but I did get this um, gaming mouse. It was only $5. I did not look up comps while I was there. It just felt awkward taking my phone out if um, the owners of the yard sale are like right there, which they were, so. Anyway, I looked up comps in my car and it looks like these sell for around 15, so I can still hopefully triple my profit since I paid $5. Um, and that is new in box. Okay, so that's the only thing I got at this yard sale because they didn't have a lot. Um, then the estate sale was another half hour away and they had a lot of, or not a lot, but they had quite a bit of um, sport like merch. And I did pick this up it wasn't really four dollars they gave it to me for three it's the, the um boston red sox world series 2013. again i kind of looked up comps while i was there and it looked like they can sell for around like 17 to 30. there was kind of a range but i have had good luck with um sports hats like these in the past i don't know anything about sports but i know that boston red sox and yankees are popular so if i see stuff like that and if i see like the world series stuff i'll usually pick it up um so I got a lot of baskets at that estate sale. I think I got, I'm not gonna count them right now, but I got this many baskets. Um, I have really good luck selling basket walls and I also got this little hat. So I'm gonna sell this. I'll probably split it up and sell like these together with this as a basket wall set and um, wicker hats. I think that'll be really cute. And then I'll probably sell these separate. I usually make around 25 to $35 on a basket wall set. so. It's a really good return on investment because I usually spend like nothing on baskets. So if you see baskets while you're out, to pick them up. Um, I did get this locket for myself and she gave this to me for a dollar, so not bad. And notice that there's still a picture in it. It's kind of sad. I wonder if that was her son or something. Um, yeah, it's pretty though. I don't think it's real gold because it's tarnished, but I thought it was nice. Also, side note, I had to change my tank top when I got home because I walked around with two stains on my tank top all morning, so that was nice. I had tacos the other night and I must have spilled on my tank top. I washed it and then I thought it 
um, came out, but it did not. Anywho, what I was excited to find are these vintage Tupperware pieces. Um, I have only sold one other Tupperware piece, and it was kind of like this, except smaller and orange. And that sold very quickly on Mercari, surprisingly. I listed it, and it sold like that same day. So if you ever see, there's the old vintage logo there. Um, definitely give it a try. And this is also Tupperware. It's just the picture. So I've never tried these pieces, but I am hopeful that they will sell quickly. So this was a gamble. Um, so the Tupperware pieces, the everything except for the hat was in a $5 bag sale. They had the entire garage was fill a bag for a dollar. So I did that. So the only thing I paid $3 for was the hat. Everything else was fill a bag for a dollar. I spent a total of $12 on all of this stuff from the first yard sale and the second estate sale. Um, so this was a gamble. I didn't look up comps, but I was filling a bag. So this is a electronic dog cat repeller. Now I know that like electric dog fences and collars and stuff like that sell really well. Um, just from what I've seen online on other resellers and something I want to get into is and I'm looking into right now is pet wholesale products. Um, I did one liquidation from liquidation.com and it was kind of a fail. I'm going to do another video to talk about that, but I'm going to try again and I'm going to keep trying because I know that there's a lot of money in liquidation and I like the idea of having things constantly in stock that sell consistently. I think that's really important for streams of income and pet products always needed. People are always searching them, buying them all the time. Um, so this is a good experiment and way for me to try this. So yeah, we'll see how that does. And something I have learned from other um, YouTube resellers, instruction manuals are supposed to sell well, even if they don't come with the item itself, just the manual. So Sony PlayStation, I have no idea how this is gonna do, but um, it also has, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a one year warranty, which I'm sure is not active anymore. But yeah, so I will see if this even sells, and if not, look how light it is. I'll just throw it out when it's, if it doesn't sell. Um, so that is everything I got. Like I said, it wasn't a lot, but it was, I think I definitely, I know I can sell the baskets and the Tupperware based on experience. Um, everything else is an experiment. I like to try new things with my business. Lately, I really, really enjoy selling hard goods um, over clothing. I love selling vintage clothing. I love picking up like cool pieces and all of that, but I'm shifting my business to more wholesale liquidation and things like this that I know people want and search for. Um, it's just harder to sell those unique pieces like vintage skirt that's like a no-name brand like people aren't searching for that so um, that's just my own personal preference but I'm gonna always mix the two and I think that that will work out well so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like comment and subscribe um, the only other thing I have to do today is film the thrift haul from the other day when I went to the free thrift store day and yeah, hopefully I'll do that today. Thanks guys, bye. The day for yard sailing. This is, I'm filming this after I got home, but I'm wearing my Gymshark leggings. I got these on Mercari, super cool. They're very high-waisted, they come up to like here. And originally I thought like the band would roll down when you're working out, but they're really good. I had to change my shirt because I was wearing a stained shirt all day. Here's the locket I got. This shirt is like super lightweight for summer. I thrifted it, of course. It's just a tie-dye shirt. But I got these new Birkenstocks from eBay. And they arrived last weekend. Shiloh, get off that cord. Um, I had a pair of Birkenstocks black patent leather, like the black um, shiny ones, for I think eight years. And they lasted so long. So, here's the Gymshark leggings. They are super comfy highly recommend so this is going for about $45 on Amazon right now I can't seem to find any on eBay I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but I will also try to list this on Facebook marketplace and I mean I'm gonna list it for like I don't know 35 39 so let's hope for the best
Hey guys, it is Sunday, 3.27 p.m. And I'm sending out offers on all of my items in Posh and Mercari. I'll do that later. Um, I think I've been doing this for like an hour and a half or maybe more. I have the dogs here. They're both napping. Very close on me. Um, I like to send offers on my laptop because it's easier because I can like open each item in a new tab and then send the offer and then like move on to the next one but it is so time consuming i really wish poshmark would come out with an easier way to like how awesome would it be if you could send offers on your entire closet in like one click but then everyone would do it and i don't know it's the same thing as if you could share a closet all in one click i'm sure like the competition would be even more fierce for sales but yeah so that's what we're doing um kind of just like being lazy in bed doing this usually i put netflix on while i do it but today i've been watching youtube and miss shiloh just woke up and she's probably getting ready to rage i had to put her in her crate before to kind of punish her i'm trying to crate train her to not bite and i think it's working because i put her in there and then she i calmed her down for like two minutes and then when she was calm i took her out and um, after that, she wasn't doing it, and she just like went down and napped. So I'm hoping that works. I don't even know why I'm vlogging anymore, um, or what I'm talking about, <laughs> but I don't know, it just keeps me going. Anyway, my point was I've made like four or five sales from sending offers so far, so hopefully like the more I do, the more sales I'll make. That's usually how it goes. Um, I only started sending offers on all my Mercari items a few weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and it's helped my sales. Um, so I'm doing that, and I'm also listing on Depop and Etsy more consistently. Depop, I want to try to list at least one item a day, like every day. Etsy, I just maybe a few items a week at least. Um, so i'll report back maybe i'll do a separate video on if those things have increased my sales and like by how much hey guys it's a few days later after i went to the free thrift store day so i want to do a haul for you all um i got quite a lot of pieces but the first thing i got uh were these ralph lauren women's nine uh real leather boots they're not ralph by La ralph lauren they're ralph lauren which is worth more money um i at least I believe so. There's some wear on the bottoms there. But these are really cool. I almost passed these up. I was walking by and I kind of was about to leave and then I uh, spotted them. So I decided to pick them up. And they've already gotten a lot of interest online. Um, this is a mini Bowden piece. If you ever see this, pick it up. I've sold it once before and it sold very quickly. I've only found it once that wasn't like stained. Um, 11 to 12 years. I think it's a boy's. Literally, this looks like it would fit me as a women's small. Um, it's a simple little thermal, but it also has this cute dog on the side there. And it has, unfortunately, some tar or something like that that wouldn't come off. So I'll have to disclose that. I picked up this, it's the brand Carbon. It's a men's white varsity hoodie. Um, yeah, like some of this stuff I wouldn't pay for if I was at the thrift store, but if it's free and it, I like the style, I will try to sell it. So we'll see how that does. Okay, this item I'm actually really excited about. I think that these will do well on, De on Depop or Etsy maybe. Um, the reason being, these jeans are all over TikTok right now. And they are like the cargo jean with the zippers on the side and they have this really cool buckle. These are a size, they're Land's End. They're a size 16. I believe they're a 16 in boys. I literally couldn't get these over my thighs. Um, I think they're a 16 in boys. I think like this part in the waist is pretty tight. It's, you would think it would be flexible because of the elastic band, but it's really not. So I feel like these would fit like a women's zero. Um, they're really cool though. Yeah, a lot of reselling is knowing your trends and these are all over TikTok right now. So let's see how they do. Another pair of cool jeans, vintage mom jeans. These are Moda International. They're called the London Jean, and they are like a beige color. Um, they're really nice. They're size eight. I think they would fit like a women's six to eight. Um, 
they have a really long inseam. They have like a 32 inch inseam. I tried them on. They were baggy on me because they're not my size, but uh, the bottoms were really long. They were like, they looked like you could cuff them at the bottom and they, look, they would look really cool. This is by the brand Chaps, which is like not an exciting brand, but I really like the style, like a Nordic Fair Isle kind of style there. And the back is pretty much the same thing. It's a women's small. I picked up these L.L. Bean um, penny loafer wedges and they're in really good shape. They have these cushions in the back that I think someone might have added. So I did put that in the description and they are a size, I believe they're a seven, six and a half. They're a six and a half. Um, yeah, so those are good for like work. Another L.L. Bean piece and this is a girl's dress. I don't typically pick up kids clothes if I'm like paying for it, but again, it was free and it was new tags. Um, so this is 11 to 12, wait, no. This is a size 6X to 7 in girls. And it's a sweatshirt dress and it's new with tags. And the color is Glacial Teal, which is one of my favorite brands to sell, Life is Good. This one says, take your sweet time with a little hot cocoa on it. And there's the little Life is Good guy. Got super excited when I found this. These usually sell really quickly for me. Um, I just think it's a cute brand. Okay, picked up this little Trix guy. I think he's vintage. He's got the Trix on the bottom. I have had some luck selling stuffed animals, especially if it's vintage. I recently sold a vintage um, Cabbage Patch doll on Etsy which was the uh, dog pooch I featured in one of my thrift hauls. So we'll see how he does. I have not listed him yet. A lot of the stuff has been listed, um, but not everything yet because I'm trying to space it out until thrift stores open. But this is an express shirt dress. It is um, pretty long. I think it's like above knee, but like it's modest. It is... Uh, it did originally have a tie, but it's missing that, so I just put that in the description, and yeah, it's very lightweight for summer. Like, for when people go back to the office, that kind of thing is perfect for summer. It's boring, to be honest, but I picked it up because it's Eddie Bauer, and I do well with this brand on eBay, um, and it, I also picked it up because it says the Blakely fit, and I think that when a jean or a pant has a certain style name, or not even just jeans, but especially pants it seems uh people get attached to them so they're just like a khaki like work khaki but hopefully that will do well on ebay we will see this is really cool this is a kids vintage looney tunes bugs bunny sweatshirt and there's no size like it, everything's like ripped out so i just put measurements but i feel like this would be like a girl's three or four i really have no idea i don't sell a lot of kids clothes i don't pick them up it's just not something i'm really like interested in selling but that was cool and I couldn't resist it. All right, these are by Hens Collection and on the inside it says it's a collaboration with H&M. So, but I picked these up for style. They're a size four. I'm gonna model these when I um, list them. They're super cool, like very Mad Men style, retro style, wide leg bottom. And yeah, I love these. If I had somewhere, like an office to go anymore, I would totally wear these, but I don't, so I work in my pajamas. Okay, I was really excited to find this vintage dress. Um, the brand is E.D. Michaels by Melanie Drucker, and it is this fabulous long floral shoulder pad dress, but it also has this belt, and it has pockets on either side. Very hard to show you right now because it is long, but I'll pop up the listing photo because I have already listed it. Um, and I think it's 11 to 12 in women. This is just the brand Christopher and Banks. It's a women's large, but I picked it up for style um, because it has cats all over it and people are cat lovers. And this will look cute with like a pair of like just jeans. Look at the back there. People love their cats, so they like to wear hat merchandise um so we also have this is lauren conrad lc lauren conrad size large 
and it's just a cool navy crochet floral light sweater. Um, I actually do pretty well with Lauren Conrad. Like, it doesn't sell for a lot, but it sells. Um, another Eddie Bauer piece, again, because these do well for me on eBay. Um, I do pretty well with the basics, like the thermals. This is an extra large, just plain striped thermal. Not even a thermal, it's like a long sleeve um, shirt. Oh, this is um, a vintage, there's the brand there. It's a women's large, but it's got this like amazing picnic gingham design and these flowers, which I think is just so perfect for summer. How cute is that? Um, and it's super lightweight, so you could wear this on like a summer night. And I honestly wish this fit me because I would keep it, but it's too big, so someone go snag that because it's so cute for summer size four and it's a corduroy it's kind of hard to tell on camera but it's high-waisted corduroy floral skirt size four I think this would be very cute for the summer but also for fall to transition um, to put tights on which I know it sounds crazy that we're thinking about fall and summer but when you resell fashion or just like in the fashion world in general you're always thinking ahead of season so I think that would be really cute with tights this is actually um, the last item I got, so I did pretty well considering all of this was free. This is um, Blair Made in India. Not familiar with the brand, but I got it because of the Hawaiian flowers, and I think it's a women's large. It might be, the fabric feels really nice, like it would be rayon. I'm trying to see if there's a tag. I don't see a fabric tag, but it does feel super lightweight, like you could... This would actually be really cute um, beach cover up. If you leave it open, like no buttons with just your bathing suit underneath, it would be cute. So that is everything I got. And if you are interested in anything, um, my store closet name is Shani Sells on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, and Etsy. I'm on like everywhere. Um, and I have been listing more on Depop and Etsy because I just wanna see, I'm doing an experiment to see if like daily listing will increase my sales. Um, so I'm pretty much listing every day except Sunday. So if you guys like anything, feel free to send me an offer. I take all offers, especially if you tell me you watched my YouTube video because I super appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.